Good morning. <laughs> so I start talking like that and start going crazy. I am here with Sammy and Paddington's F3 Mini Golden Doodles. Seven weeks old. And this is group three. We split them into three groups so that you guys can get a better look at them. A little more time looking at them. So in our third and final group, we have Black Collar Boy. And then we have our Dark Pink Collar Girl. Yeah, and our Dark Pink Collar Girl is a cotton fleece mix. It's soft, a little more curly. You can see the curly right in here. The backs generally look about the same, but you can feel the texture. There's, uh, and when I say people are always like, what is fleece? Fleece is like a, a wool. It's a thick, think of your sheep. You got a thickness in there. It's not poodle. Uh, the poodle is what brings in the fleece, but, and, and a poodle puppy may feel like this, but uh, this is not gonna end up being that, that poodle curl. It's not gonna end up being that particular type of texture. That cotton that we've added in there, uh, it kind of helps with that. So this is our cotton fleece mix, and you can see right there, we have a little, little more curl. This is a, a light apricot, and she's gonna have the dark ears. We're gonna watch little black collars going, going at it. Get it, get the snowman. He doesn't want to build a snowman. He wants to eat a snowman. Eat the snowman. So little black collar. He's not as big as green and blue, but he would be the next stair step down. And he has their coat. So he has a soft cotton wavy coat. Yes. I do not believe any of these are going to shed. Our um. Uh, I know some people have read about the F3s. I think that when our first puppies went home, they um, we reported back a few light shedders, but that's actually, there are some sheddings. You're gonna have three different times where shedding happens. So you're gonna sniff around her, huh? Come here. We're gonna have three different coat changes that happen and shedding. Uh, which is light. You shouldn't have like shedding crazy, but the, the shedding is light. And that's going to happen during coat changes because this is a fluff. This is not their fur. This is not their hair. You're going to get more of a hair. So around nine weeks old, somewhere around the four month mark, and then 11 months, you're going to have moments where, you, where you're going to go like this and you're going to pull something out. And, um, but then those people have reported back to me once they passed all that stage, they said, no, they're not shedding. So we haven't had shedding in our F3s. With any of our doodles, there can be a little bit of seasonal where you pull things off. Um, keeping them brushed will eliminate that and um, making sure that they are clean. You coming through, going around, going around back. <laughs> are you sliding? The brown paper. This is, I get this, this is painter's paper I get at Home Depot. And uh, yeah, it, it can be quite fun if <laughs> we slide around. Under, and somebody potty. Somebody did a potty. Not on the potty pad. Come here. Come here. Come here, follow the noise. Follow the noise. One day we'll make this bigger right now. We're kind of full. Yeah. We're kind of full. Get the reindeer. <laughs> anyway, back to the shedding. Um, this is a soft coat. Even though they're wavy cotton coats, um, I'm not noticing any shedding in this litter. This has been, let's see, I think Sammy's had, this is her fourth litter of the F3s. And so, and then Shami's puppies, they're also F3s and they just went home this summer. So we need to wait, or this fall, we need to wait for them to see how they're gonna do, but I don't suspect any problems with them either because uh, Sammy and Charmin have the exact same parents. So as far as coats go, I recommend this, come here. I recommend this fleece cotton mixture for people who have asthma or severe allergies. That definitely, definitely helps with asthma. We have a lot of asthmatics in our family, so um, we kind of know all about that. Uh, as far as pink, pink is just a little bit heavier than group one. So, so pink and, and um, black here, they're kind of the, the mid-size, the mid-size SUV. Yeah, 
we're mid-sized. They're not the biggest of the litter. They're not the smallest of the litter. They're kind of all in between. Sometimes it's hard to tell with the fluffy when they're all standing next to each other. So you really have to pick them up and feel their, uh, their frame. Why are you barking? Are you barking at, at daddy over there? He's got a stocking. Come here. These will be posted here today um, on Wednesday. And uh, just a little reminder, those who are ordering from our shop at lambdoland.com, uh, today's the last day to place orders to get them by Christmas. So that's why we're doing all of our Christmas stockings, getting those ready. So um, today is the last day you can still order. We're still gonna be filling orders. You just won't get it by Christmas if you don't order today. Anyway, back to, back to the babies here. This is such a soft cotton and it's gonna end up being like a ragamuffin wavy. Is it cold out there? It's a cold, rainy day. Yeah, come here. You can't go outside. I know you think you're going outside with Daddy. You're not going outside. We're inside today. It's just too, too cold and too wet. Come here. Come here. Okay, as I said in our uh, group one and group two videos, this is group three. Group three is dark pink and black collar. And um, we're going to go ahead and have our first pick done on Friday. I will let you guys know right away who that pick is. It's kind of like a domino effect after that as to who gets chosen. And um, the first pick, which is actually the second pick of the litter, will be here on Saturday at 10. And uh, we're going to go ahead and limit uh, picking to about 45 minutes. Uh, after all the videos and the temperament testing and pictures, um, everybody should have a, a top two uh, in their heads maybe even a top three, uh, depending on what pick you are. But um, are you being a bunny? Are you being a bunny? But anyway, well, it'll take about 45 minutes to choose your puppy, and then we'll go over your um, instructions and your packet, and then you'll gather your puppy and be on your way. Um, like I mentioned in the other two group videos, um, in my last week's update, you can scroll down past this week's update to get last week's, and, um, and in your puppy pick up, or it could have been picking instructions. I think it's pick up instructions. That um, I mentioned about Christmas puppies and how we kind of differ a little bit. Um, give you some recommendations, some things to think about, look at to help you through the holiday here with your puppy so that you're still doing your, your training and you're not gonna lose any headway, but, but you guys aren't gonna lose your minds either. So yeah, see, I'm doing a lot of sniffing here. Mama did little baths here. You can see the, the hair dryer in the background. We had, we had to clean off our feet. Yeah. I also mentioned a little bit about the, the potty patch and things like that. Um, they can go outside in the wet. You just have to dry their feet. So um, for us being out here where wildlife is, we not only have to dry feet, but we need to wash them a little bit. Um, you don't want them to get stuff on their feet that is wet and then they lick on them. That can be a problem. And um, our trainer pointed that out to me, that you need to wipe off their feet. By the way, our trainer, I'm not sure if she still has any spots open, but um, HiltonButler.com is who we use for our training. And we really love the dickens out of them for taking these babies and turning them into such awesome dogs. Come here. And I know we've had many of happy customers go over there. Come on. They're trying to get outside with Daddy. He's going out. <gasps> Where's he going? Where is he going and why didn't he take me? Oh, no. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come on. <laughs> you are being a stinker. You are being a stinker. Let her go. Let her go. Look at her personality. She's just kind of, okay, whatever, I'll deal with it. So basically, if I could get up, I would correct his behavior and let him know, even though, even though he's not doing anything bad, I want him to know that, hey, she's not defending herself. We're not gonna do that. Come here, Pinky. Come here, Pinky girl. Come here, Pinky girl. Hi. All right, we're almost to the 10 minute mark, so we're gonna have to say goodbye to these two. She's gonna get them back. 
<laughs> Are you gonna get him back? Are you? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> come here, come here, come on, yeah, come on, he's like, why do you keep pointing that thing at me, I don't know, come here, so real quickly, when they are alone, I do leave on a radio or a TV, they are used to a lot of Christmas music right now, they're also used to songs that are played on 94.9. You don't have to play 94.9. They're a little repetitive. It drives my family absolutely bonkers. So usually we're in with Alexa with our, um, with our particular playlist. But anyway, I have had people say, oh, they're, they're barking, they're crying, or something like that, and I'll recommend turning on, turning on the music they're used to listening to. They listen to that, they get talking, they get music during the day. At nighttime, we use a sound machine. Um, that started because we had a baby, uh, Jessica, um, when she was a baby, she also did not sleep, and the doggy nursery was across the hall from her nursery, and so I started using a sound machine, so she couldn't hear them, and then they couldn't hear her, because she would wake them up, they'd wake her up, and then we found out that, hey, they actually sleep when they hear that so sound, and they don't wake up when the family gets up, so we recommend to our owners to have um, one of those, they, right now they listen to white noise or ocean or even a waterfall sound, any of those, just not one that plays, um, thunder, thunder doesn't scare them, but that noise will wake them up or, um, or something that has like crickets <laughs> or birds. Yeah. Birds. All right, guys, we're past our mark. So let's say goodbye. Yes. And you guys are going to go home on Saturday. Yes, say Saturday. Oh, my goodness, we're excited. All right, our last Christmas video. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Pinky, can you say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. We'll see you guys later.